here to do a review and show you guys how to do the replacement bulbs on the um, the projector we were talking about in Shadow of Palms uh, haunt chat the other night. Um, Joyzy gal Sharon gave us all a great tip that they were on sale um, on clearance basically for twenty dollars at uh, CVS. So I went out and I actually grabbed two. Um, so I unboxed one. You can hear it in the background. I have it set up. I'm going to show you guys how it looks. Um, I'm pleased with it for twenty dollars. It's a great buy. I mean, it, it, it's a great find. So um, it's going to do everything we want to do for a haunt efficiently. Um, I'm not worried about its capability or anything. It's very lightweight. Um, it shoots just it shoots a good amount of light for what we do. Um, so, so you got for you guys that haven't seen what I'm talking about, it is this. Um, it is the called the Shift Light Blast. Um, it's re it was ninety nine dollars regular. There. I remember seeing them and they just never sold. So um, for ninety nine dollars. I wouldn't buy it, but for 20 bucks, hell yeah. Um, so let me go ahead and turn off the light, and I'll show you guys what I got up right now. Right now, I just have a PS2 um, game set up, um, and this is what we're looking at. Let me back up. So right now, I'm shooting on a whiteboard, um, and that's about a four-foot image. So the clarity is there. Um, the only light I have on is a blue Halloween light. Um, this is what I use in the haunt. So you can see that I get that true rich blue color for the haunt. Um, and having that projector on, nothing gets affected by it. So the blue light doesn't diminish the uh, brightness at all. Um, I would say I'd play the game, but the controller is way over there and I have to stand back here with the zoom on the camera. So you guys can see what it looks like there. I don't know why it's not going into like demo mode or anything, but. Um, that is also a dark game. So Pirates of the Caribbean is a dark game, um, and it's showing up pretty pretty bright. So let me go ahead and switch games to something else, or put a DVD in and show you guys what that looks like. So there we go. There's a DVD playing on it. Um, you know, and and for 20 bucks, it's it's okay quality. You do have to play with the contrast and the color a little bit to get it where you want it. Um, you know, it does control the brightness as well. So. But it's not bad at all. I'm, I'm pretty pleased for, for $20. Um, and the good thing about this projector is I did research the bulbs. The bulbs are $7 at Home Depot. I didn't go to Lowe's, but I assume they're about the same price. So if you can still go out and try to grab one, I would say yes, um, especially just for a haunt. Um, for you know home theater, definitely not. Um, for video games, it's just okay. Um, but for what we do, I think the purpose is awesome. So we can throw this somewhere and just, uh, you know, let it shoot whatever we want. So, um, and this is about a 4x4 four four whiteboard. So it still has good brightness and, and quality, um, even, you know, on, on a 4x4. Four four. So we, it says it can go up to 10 feet. I haven't tried that yet, but um, I don't think it'll be a problem. So, yeah, that's, um, that's it for now. Let me go ahead and show you guys how to take out the bulb. Um, and how to quick tip on the uh, projectors if you do buy them um, one of mine was zeroed out on the color and the contrast now if that's at zero you're basically turning the light all the way down so I found the best resolution to be around 15 and 15 um, on the positive side of both um, I was worried one of them wasn't working uh, but then I just played with the color and the contrast on the unit and raised them and that's when the light came up so um, and playing with both uh, the closer to zero you get, the darker image you're going to get. So um, it goes up to 20, but that washes everything out a little too whitewashed. So um, 15 and 15 seems to be a good combination um, of color and contrast to uh, shoot a just enough light and still keep their, you know, their, their human skin tone. Um, so secondly, the fan. You'll see when powering down, the green light will blink. Okay. Um, while that green light is blinking and the fan is on, do not unplug the machine. Okay, you'll see the green light will go off by itself. The fan will go off by itself. Once you um, turn the unit, once you power the unit off, um, make sure you leave that fan running because if you pull the plug before that fan is done cooling the bulb, you're going to get less life out of your bulb, you're going to get less quality out of your bulb, and your bulb is going to basically burst quicker than it, than it normally would. So wait the extra two minutes. Let your fan cool the lamp down. Once the lamp is cool enough, um, the unit will shut itself off. Then it's safe to unplug. 
okay um, so again just that green power button you see it'll go off by itself let the fan do its job let it cool down that bulb so you can make these things last longer okay so the bulb is out um, it's held in place by just two screws uh, here and here there and there same thing um, the electrical wiring is pretty short it just folds in and out um, and after opening the unit and looking at it that is actually a 35 millimeter projector bulb. So if you got a 35 millimeter projector laying around the house, it's a good chance you have a spare for this. Um, the reflection, you see the mirror in there, basically, that is where you're getting your light. The light is hitting that, reflecting, and that's what's shining. So uh, make sure you do not get a bulb that is too many watts or too powerful um, because there are different types of these bulbs. Um, if you get it too powerful, there's a good chance you could blow out your unit. It might just be too hot, might melt the plastic whatever um, but these bulbs are, are just fine uh, they are seven dollars at Home Depot like I said I did check that out I didn't check Lowe's um, but I'm sure it's about the same price so yeah this is basically using a, the 35 millimeter technology and just projecting the video so um, pretty simple uh, but for 20 bucks you can't beat it um, so yeah so again I mean great buy great find uh, Sharon thank you for letting me know because I'm definitely happy with these um, and I wouldn't have known about it because they weren't marked on sale you only know they're on sale if you go up there and you use your club card and then it takes off the $80 to make it $19.99 from the $99 so um, very cool very cool um, so again this is the uh, this is just a short review on the um, it's made by shift 3 and the model is light blast um, yeah, so if you have a chance to get the CVS, go ahead and grab one. Um, if not, maybe wait for the next sale or check a Walgreens. I think they're a sister company, um, but you might get lucky. So, yeah, if you got any questions, put them in the uh, uh, comments below, and I'll be happy to answer them. I know projectors really well. I do have professional ones. I work with professional ones in the line of business I do. So these ones for 20 bucks for what we want them for in the, in the haunt world, totally fine. So check them out if you can. I'll talk to you guys later.